Well, how do that, Chums? Does I, Captain of the And as you can see, Chums, I'm inside of the old Nexus and I'm standing by this broken console inside the Nexus. If you didn't know there was a broken console inside of the Nexus, there he is. Yes, it shows this weird sort of symbol. You see the same symbol over by the scrap merchant. You also see it on some of the odd planets and also when you go into derelict freighters above the door. It's a bit of an odd sort of thing inside of game. You can see there that it actually shows that one of these landing pads has an error with it. But there we go, there's this sort of errored out console. Now I have done a whole video on this errored out console and whether this is some sort of warning coming into the verse. And I still wonder whether it has some sort of meaning that's going to be made more clear in future. Anyway, I put a link up there to that sort of conjury, but I'm not here to talk about this one so much today, people inside the viewerverse. No, I've, I've been, I've spotted another one. And this was, I spotted this over at um, Carl Calder's channel over on YouTube. So he put out a video just showing off this strange little oddity over here on this side of the old Nexus. So as you head over to this back wall, you're going to see an array of crates. So there we go, let's go into camera mode over here. So you've got a couple that are sort of just straggling around over here on these little light plinths and things. But if you go over to this one in the corner that's got another box on top of it, on top of that box, if you can get the lighting just right, you're going to see on this top corner over here is a little unicorn. And it looks like it's made out of origami, like it's folded paper, like a folded paper origami unicorn, people inside the view of us. Now, I jumped onto your Google and I just typed in origami unicorn just to see what would come back. And then I thought, well... Okay, fine. I've got loads of tutorials on how to make one myself, but that's not kind of what I was after. So I wanted to know whether there was some sort of sci-fi reference to this. So I just put in sci-fi, unicorn, origami. And uh, I'll show you what came back, people inside the viewer. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's just origami, jump on over to sci-fi. Scroll on down a bit. And we've got this. So, yeah, I, I expanded two areas. So here you go. What does the origami unicorn represent? And yet the symbolic value of the unicorn in this film has almost attained an iconic meaning, which the origami unicorn represents freedom. And I was wondering, well, what freaking movie are you on about? But scrolling down a bit further, I didn't have to scroll far. Blade Runner in the movie Blade Runner. And Blade Runner is all about sort of like, you know, cyborgs and humanity in 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 general and it says in the movie blade runner the origami is used as a symbolic motif throughout the film the character gaffer a police officer creates the origami figures that reflect and foreshadow events in the story these figures serve as a subtle hints and for clues for the main character deckard and the audience so it's to kind of show that they knew deckard's thoughts inside of his head like he, there was a bit where he sees a unicorn or something in there, and then the um, little sort of the paper versions of that unicorn is a hint to say, well, I know your mind. How would I know that if you wasn't a cyborg? Oh, that sort of thing. So it kind of makes me think that perhaps it's been placed inside of No Man's Sky just to sort of play on the fact that you are in some kind of simulation. Or maybe it was a hint that the autophages were going to be coming into game for some time. Now, when you go and have a look at um, Carl Corver's video on this, uh, he actually cites the people that he found, who found it for him. One second. So here's Carl Corver's video. Let me hit into there. Good. I'm just going to mute that. And um, I'm just going to hit more down here. Yeah, there we go. Did you know about this mini little Easter egg in No Man's Sky? I had no idea this was in the game. Massive thank you to Ray Reynolds and Mike Snowsell for the tip there inside of his actual description. I love the way that he's actually put this together and sort of done all the analysis and zoomed in and all that sort of shenanigans. So yeah, I honestly think there's a little bit more to this. You know, Hello Games rarely do things unless they have some sort of meaning, but apparently this has been there for five freaking years and this is the first time I've seen anybody sound off about it. If I've missed somebody else that's covered this in the past, sorry that's somebody else, but this is the first time I've seen it. But there we go, and it's the first time that it came to my attention. I know inside of the actual um, Atlas, sometimes when you see the, like, the little cube separate and the Atlas comes out and all that sort of shenanigans, there's like little images of llamas on there. Not quite unicorns, but they do look horse-like or llama-like or something. 
uh, beastie, worldy. Yeah, but I was wondering whether it might have some sort of connotation to Jeff Buchanan, because he wrote a book called um, 16 Horses. And I was wondering whether there might be 16 of these things just stapled about places where we all frequent. But I don't think that's going to be the case. But then again, it, you know, how long did it take for us to find this one? But there we go. That's that's it. That's all I've got for you, really. I'm not, not really going anywhere with this. <laughs> I just want to put it out there as something to talk about. Sound off in the comments. Let us know what you think. If you know anything more about these unicorns and what you think it might mean. If you think that going up the whole Blade Runner route is probably not the right route for this. And you've got other sorts of Hello Games or No Man's Sky connections. Again, sound off in the comments. Let us know. I'll be eager to, to hear what you think on all this. So there you go, people. A little bit of food for thought for your old weekends. What's left of it? Not much, I'd imagine. But anyways, uh, yeah, sound off, like I say, in the comment. Let us know what you think, because, yeah, it's an oddity, isn't it? It really is. I think it's quite nice if it has got that link to Blade Runner, but there's probably other links out there inside the viewerverse, people. And I know you guys, you guys are pretty versed in the old worlds of sci-fi. So yeah, I'd be interested to see what you guys come up with on this one. It's just an odd Easter egg to have there. And if you have spotted any more of these origami type creatures laying about the place, or if you've got anything else that you want to expand on with all of this, yeah, again, let us know in the comments. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.